helped rally the team. So it's good to see Josh not only getting great production, but also showing leadership. It's a one-point game. Now, can the Pels get another stop? Gonna be Wendell Carter on the jump hook. It's a really nice move. Good footwork. That was a really nice move by Wendell Carter Jr. Inside of two to play. Nick Heal, good handle, going to the rack, and gets the foul out of Okiki. Stops the clock. That didn't take long. And Five seconds after Wendell Carter Jr. Right. And, and that's the best way to dig into this lead is by attacking that rim. Don't be surprised if Clifford, if he, yeah, exactly. Yep. He's going to challenge this. Is it a foul? Mm. Mm. Was he there in time in front of him? Because he didn't reach. Right. Was he square in front of him? Here we go. Right. Jump ball. Successful yeah. challenge. And yeah. now, let's see what the Pels can do with a minute 55 to play. Can they control it? Steven Adams will jump with Wendell Carter Jr. He's got the size. Toss. And Eric Dallin, who tosses it, is a big guy to begin with. Bells have not had success, regardless of who suits up for this franchise. It's controlled by Wendell Carter Jr. Get a stop. Get a stop. Get it back. Can't make it a two-possession game. And you know who they're going through. Terrence Ross right. wants it. That's right. Randall was the hot hand early in the game, but they found Ross. That's who they're going to, right? And a here. great pass. Right. And, they, and the thing is, that play started from the beginning. They ran Terrence Ross off multiple screens to finally get him curling to create that play for Wendell Carter Jr. Nick Hill up against the length of Ennis. Mid-range. Guys, Nick Hill. That was over length two. Right, Ted, yes, it was. That's 10 of 14 for Nick Hill. He's up to 22 points. Efficient. Very efficient tonight. And watch, the, watch Terrence Ross moving off this ball. They're going to play through him. Six on the shot clock for Randall. It's going up in the mid-range game, and it's too strong. Two Pels, Nikhil's got it. Minute to play. Josh Hart looking for space. Bledsoe on the up. Now Nikhil, quick catch and shoot. Yes, yes sir! All even a 101. Yes, sir! The best thing about Nikhil Alexander Walker the best attribute is his confidence and his belief in his skill set. And game amnesia is something that you have to have in this sport. Timeout coming, and we know the play. We know what they're going to try to do, and they'll, they'll play off of Terrence Ross. But Nikhil, how efficient, 25 points on 11 to 15 and 3 and of 5 me, of his triples. And for me, it's the decisions that he's made. Earlier, I talked about the two poor decisions that he made in the pick and roll. Then he comes out from that, makes two excellent decisions as far as pass, because they are going to Terrence Ross. And remember what you did to DeMar DeRozan. Remember what you've done before. That's right. They are going to Terrence Ross. Whether for him to score or to run him on multiple screens and put him in a position to facilitate. It'll come into Ross right away and the loose stop picked up by the Pels on the takeaway no rush no rush but a 10 second difference shot clock and game clock dribble handoff Nick Hill plenty of time on the shot clock up against the length of Ennis step back two not close Adams after it kept alive and picked up the chance for the win Pels will take overtime if they can get it but man a step back long two you knew it was going to be difficult. Ross with a chance to win it for Orlando. Get the ball out of that man's hands for the win. Stays out. What a break. Oh. Oh, 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 oh. Man. And that's an